tell you this is a the most interesting one because vitamin K has been well understood since the 1940s to be an essential uh, nutrient but when they give you vitamin K in the pharmaceutical model or the what we call conventional nutritional model what are they going to tell you they're going to tell you that you can't eat green vegetables you can't eat healthy food if you're taking vitamin K because vitamin K is going to overclot the blood, creating more circulatory problems. And that can get down to, to heart attacks, strokes, cardiovascular problems, etc. Now, the truth of the matter is, this only happens with synthetic form of vitamin K. If you were extracting vitamin K, uh, you know, things from like a cauliflower or a cabbage or an onion sprout or a raw sauerkraut, you would never have that problem. How do we know that? Because for half a century now, we've been giving people massive amounts of green vegetables and sprouts who are on these anticoagulants and slowly removing them on their own and see no problem at all. As a matter of fact, we see a benefit. And one of the things we see rapidly turn around the most here at Hippocrates is when people are on these anticoagulants, uh, they need to get off, off those things very, very quick because if you naturally have the blood circulatory uh, body moving the way it ought to and was meant to, and you're further diluting the blood with a synthetic vitamin K or an anticoagulant, then you're going to have a problem. And so you've got to watch yourself with vitamin K. As a matter of fact, if you eat right, you should have never a need for it. And the only time, by the way, it's legitimate to take an anticoagulant is when one has a pacemaker. If you have a pacemaker, uh, that's one time that it is legitimate to put people on the pharmaceutical. There's no other legitimate reason for it. 